So I went go outdoors about three days ago now and I asked him what were the best selling adventure food meal from go outdoors and after about 20 minutes and I find them in the tent section obviously that's the only place I like to visit and go outdoors tents and sleeping bags she came back and she told me pasta cabanara was the best selling adventure food meal from go outdoors and that's all the go outdoors I asked is that just this stall so and overall all the stalls this one is the best selling one so I'm going to open it up we're going to have a look at it I'm going to taste test it and I'm going to tell you my thoughts about it now this meal isn't expensive as some of the other ones £4.25 I think I paid for it with my go outdoors card but you have to pay a fiver a, a year for but still with stuff like this it's very handy to have that card now people do say what are the point of these meals they're very ideal they're in a bag sealed pour water in them let them hydrate eight minutes yep eight minutes later you've got a meal ready to go are they the best probably not you probably can buy some like this in a supermarket put it in foil bags and reheat it that way these meals are like marmite some people like it some people dislike it basically some people don't see the point of them some people use meals like this day in day out different brands as well I like to use them just because they're pretty simple sometimes but I have got into using Tesco's microwave meals putting them in silver bags and then just reheating them when I'm out on camp but I have put some videos like this on my channel already and people are liking them so we're going to continue doing this just through different brands keep these sort of videos going and eventually we'll get like this one again and then the ones that you can get in the microwave meals and compare them So if you like these sort of videos and you're interested in seeing them or you like to see wild camping videos or just tent camping, hammock camping in different weathers, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We're definitely on the way to hitting 70,000 followers this year. What I am very happy with, that is my target for this year, hit 70,000. So if you've had one of these adventure food meals, please do drop me a comment below and let me know which is one you like the best. And if one stands out, I'll grab it and give it a try. Now, like I said earlier, some people hate them, some people love them. I've had this one before and to be fair, I really can't remember really what it tastes like. So I do know you get pasta cheese with ham. That's the flavor pasta cheese with ham and it looks like you get onions, there's cheese, there's ham, there's peppers, there's uh, black pepper, there's your pasta and there's some sort of leeks I think. So you get a few vegetables in it. They're good for hiking, kayaking, mountaineering, camping, cycling, fishing, skiing and obviously many more outdoor activities. Basically you got to fill it up to line 8, what's out it stands out basically because it's a lot bigger there and it see these other numbers well line 8 stands out the most so that's where you got to go to so basically you got to open the bag 20, 23 you've got to September 2026 to eat this and you need to take out the auction absorber what's that there The smell, very cheesy, like a dirty pair of socks.
Right, so while I'm waiting eight minutes, I thought I'd quickly run you through some of the ingredients now. Do bear with me. I'm quite dyslexic, so if I can't read a word, I may pause for a second or two, but I'll try my best to, to say exactly what's in it. Because each, uh, each pack is pasta, eggs, salt, cheese powder, cheese salt, ham, and that it's got like a brackets pork. Wheat starch, potato starch, uh, milk powder, sunflower oil, potato starch again, bell peppers, onions, salt, leek, glucose syrup, I think, I think that says glu glucose syrup, uh, pepper, all allergies, contains gluten, eggs, milk, and may concern traces of peanuts slash nuts <clears throat> so that's pretty simple reading actually it wasn't that bad so like I say we do have to wait eight minutes and it gives instructions there what you got to do so you got to open the bag take the oxygen absorber out pour water to line eight stir leave for eight minutes stir it again and it's ready to eat out of the bag now if this tastes rubbish I'm gonna tell you it tastes horrible I'm not gonna bid it up and tell you it tastes amazing for what it is £4.50, is it still a rip-off? I ask that a lot and I get a lot of comments about it, you know. Why are you wasting your money? Go buy this, go buy that, stop buying this, you're encouraging them to, to make rubbish food and stuff. I get it, you know, some of the expensive ones, I paid eighteen ninety nine for one of these before, not this one, a real termat meal. Uh, and that were, it were nice, but I can't, I couldn't get my idea around the £18. I don't know how nice to actually because I've forgotten now anyway, but yeah, serves one person £4.25. It's not that bad, really, is it? I don't think it is anyway, especially if you want a meal once you're on the go. When you've been camping and then you're setting your tent up and stuff and you're just getting stuff started out, you may pour some water in this and just leave this to hydrate itself whilst you're setting your sleeping bag up and stuff like that. It's ideal because once all that's done, you can just sit there and have a warm meal. It's not too bad, is it? How many grams is this bag as well? Per pouch, 144 grams. Yeah, and then you got to add the water, but that's not the weight you're carrying within the meal. You do carry the water if you're taking it in a bottle like I did. But it's not that bad, really, is it? Right, we'll leave it a bit longer, and then we'll try it. Right, this way around. Let's give it a taste test. I've already stirred it once. Yeah. So you can see the difference from earlier. If I can get it to focus on the bag itself without burning my fingers for you. There we go. So it has hydrated pretty well. So now, let's give it a test. It just smells very cheesy. I know it's meant to do anyway. Hmm. You can taste the cheese really well, and you can taste the ham slash pork. But once again, for a meal like this, you do taste a lot of salt. What would a salt intake? 11% salt. Wow. Sorry, seven percent is salt not 11 the ham is 11 percent I think your pasta is going to be the most yeah, your pasta is 57 percent of the meal it's not bad it's something that I probably won't say I'm never gonna eat it again so I probably would 
but I'm not sure why it's most popular one from Go Outdoors. There's other ones out there what I think would be a lot better. I'm not saying outdoors because who knows what the best selling ones are on the website. Once again, I've forgotten the name of the website, what people tell me to go look at. Uh, base Camp Foods. It might not be the best selling one there. It might not be the best selling one on Amazon, eBay. Just go outdoors while I were there. I asked the question and this is the one that she came back with. She was looking for me and I was hidden in a, a big family tent. I was looking at one of them. <laughs> So I'm not surprised she couldn't find me. But I was surprised when she come back with this one. I really was. Mm. It is nice though, don't get me wrong. What other flavours have you had? Drop me a message. Well, comment, let's not message me. Drop me a comment, please, and let me know. But for me, £4.50, well £25, £4.50, it's not too bad, it's, it's something I'd probably get again if I would go outdoors, going out somewhere and I needed some meals. It's eatable. So, spill it down me a bit there. That wasn't too bad. I'm just going to be honest about that. The salt at the beginning of the day were there, but you sort of get used to it. So, would I recommend you have this one? Give it a try if you can go outdoors, pick one up. It's not too bad, really, and you do get a lot in it. I think I won't probably need to eat anything now for at least a good hour, maybe hour and a half. I'm a big eater, so this is not going to fool me for too long, is it? So if you like this video and you want to see more of my YouTube channel, if you press this here, you better subscribe to my channel. I recommend another one up here for you to watch, or I'll let YouTube pick one best for the viewer. But most of all, thanks for watching. I hope you managed to subscribe by pressing here, and I'll let you see my ugly face in another video in a couple of days.